But speaking of NXT, and this is another thing that I wanted to kind of talk about, uh, the go-home episode of this week's edition of NXT for Halloween Havoc featured multiple main roster superstars, such as Rhea Ripley, Kevin Owens, uh, and the OC. Uh, well, the OC wasn't, uh, like, NXT bread, but you know what I mean. They integrated a bunch of main roster stars um, back into the NXT product. Do you think that we're going to see more of this integration between the mainstream uh, main roster superstars and the NXT product? Um, yeah, and I kind of hope so because – Honestly, um, it was super exciting, you know, seeing people like, again, you know, Rhea Ripley put on a damn good match. Um, mm -hmm. What should I call it? Seeing Sonya Deville um, pop up and have like a role with Mandy Rose, you know, some cute little callback that they did. Seeing uh -huh. Shinsuke like made me super excited. Like, first of all, they were singing his song <laughs> the entire match, which I thought was so freaking adorable. Like, <laughs> I was so happy for this man. He actually kind of looked happy to be there, you right. know, um, and I think that's good. I think that's good to... Um, have little callback references of people that help build this empire that is constantly and ever changing until they get their shit together and get things right. But um, uh, I'm not against it. I think it's going to help get other talent over because there are some people that I didn't particularly care to watch all that much. Like they're, like they're not bad wrestlers, but they just needed like a little something, maybe a little, just, just a little like pat on the back or just, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, like it's a little bit of a rub. And, I felt like that was a good addition. It doesn't need to be like several people every single week, but if they do want to like reference some people, I think that's a good idea, you know, because if you're a really big fan of someone like Rhea Ripley or Shinsuke or whatever, it might bring eyes over to the product, which mm -hmm. I see what they're trying to do here. Um, I think they attempted this before when they bought people like um, Charlotte down, but she mm -hmm. actually stayed down. Um, Becky Lynch, I think came in before, you know, and she popped up. Um, we saw Finn Balor stay down there, but like, you know, I think that, that that's good to make references because I don't think Triple H wants to treat it like a developmental. He, did he, did he change his mind on that? I know he flip flopped a few times with that, but I don't think he wants to treat it like it's developmental. I mm -hmm. feel like he wants to treat it like it is a tertiary brand that is just as important as the other two brands. And that's a good way to make it seem that way by actually bringing back talents that help build the black and gold brand to what it was now it's white uh white and gold but you know what i mean like yeah. i think that it's good it's great it's smart i loved it actually the show was more entertaining because of it like the part the best parts of the show came out of when main roster stars came down yeah what do you think i i agree with you i think that uh that if they want to treat this like an important show, that there has to be more main event, more main, main roster superstars integrated into the NXT product in ways that are appropriate. Like, I love the way that KO had the Kevin Owens show to kind of build towards this triple threat match we're going to see at Halloween Havoc that we're going to talk about later in the show. I loved how Rhea Ripley yes. was kind of there to be part of the pick your poison kind of stipulation between Roxanne and Cora. I think that's really, really oh, cute. Shotzi was really, there really, too. Yeah. yeah. Um yeah. I I thought that that was really cute and really really fun. Um and I think that if WWE wants to continue to create a show that feels more important than developmental, then they have to integrate people uh into the show that are just important people. And they can do that. And I love the way this is a sidebar. I loved the way that these superstars being integrated made sense. Right. Like Rhea Ripley's a former NXT women's champion, probably one of the greatest women's champions to ever come from NXT. Kevin Owens, former NXT champion. Right. We talked about the OC being down there. And the last time the OC was down there, there was a whole OC undisputed era type of confrontation. It was Survivor Series like they were going. It was like brand supremacy. Type. So it made sense. Like all these integrations made sense and so i think that while it's important to have main roster superstars to make the show feel important i think it's even more important to use them appropriately and i think that we're going to actually get more of that 